Hello everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 4.6, we're going to continue to work on two-digit addition. And our essential question is, how do you record the steps when adding two-digit numbers? All right, so I'm going to give you two problems that I want you to listen and draw pictures for to find the sum of the two problems I give you. Okay, I'm going to do one, and then I want you to pause, do your work for it, check your answer by restarting the video, and then I'll give you the second problem. Okay, so here's our first problem. Jason scored... Sorry about that, I froze. Uh, Jason scored 35 points in one game and 47 points in another game. How many points did Jason score? Now let me repeat those two numbers. He scored 35 points in one game and 47 points in another game. How many points did Jason score? Okay, so go ahead and draw your quick picture. Or regroup if you have to, to find the sum. Go ahead and pause the video now. All right, is this what you came up with? So we have 35 in one game. And in the next game, he scored 47. All right. So we need to ask ourselves, are there any ones that need to be regrouped? Well, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yes. We're going to have to regroup or trade 10 ones for a 10. 7 and 5 is 12. So we're going to trade 10 of the 12 ones for a 10. So how many 10s do we have? You should have come up with 4 plus 3 is 7, plus the regrouped 10 is 8. So 82 points. OK, here's the second problem. So go ahead and draw the, after I read the problem, pause the video to draw your quick picture and find the sum. All right. Patty scored 18 points. Then she scored 21 points. How many points did she score in all? Again, Patty scored 18 points. Then she scored 21 points. How many points did she score in all? Okay, so go ahead and draw your quick picture. Regroup if needed to find the sum. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Okay, is this what you came up with for Patty? 18. Plus, I told you 21. Okay, so that's what it would look like as a traditional addition problem. So do we have, do we, do we have enough ones so that we would have to regroup? So we have eight and one. That's just nine ones, right? So there isn't anything to regroup, okay? So we don't have any ones that we're gonna trade, so we're just gonna add the tens. Two tens plus one ten is three, okay? So you should be able to explain when you would need to regroup once at this point, okay? Here we didn't regroup, here we did. This one had nine ones, this one had 12 ones. How would you explain when you would need to regroup once? Well, we need to regroup one, regroup ones anytime we have 10 or more ones. Okay? Anything less than 10, we don't need to regroup. Okay, let's turn to page 194. All right, we're going to add 59 and 24, okay? This isn't any different, really, than our last lesson, okay? So we're just having on ongoing practice. Step one, we're going to add the ones, 9 and 4. 9 plus 4 is 13, okay? Okay. 
Step two, we're going to regroup. 13 ones is the same as 110 and three ones. And we've been showing that, right, by circling 10 ones and trading them for a 10. And then we've been writing what is left. So 13 is written as 110 and three ones. And then our final step was we added the tens. Well, we had five tens plus two tens plus the regrouped ten gives us eight tens. Okay. And I want you to again notice that we line up our place value. Okay, ones are stacked together, tens are stacked together. It's really important that we line up our place value. All right, so. Let's uh, share and show. Let's regroup if you need to and write the sum. Okay, 9 and 2. 9 and 2. How many ones is that? That's 11 ones, right? So 9 and 2 is 11 ones. We would, we would trade 10 of those ones for a 10, right? In 11 ones, we have one 10 and one one. All right now, how many tens do we have? We have four, five, six, seven. 71. All right, regroup if we need to. We have four ones plus one one. That's five, right? We don't have to regroup. We only regroup if we have 10 or more ones. So there's nothing, no tens to regroup. So we have three plus one is four. All right, regroup if need be. Seven and five. That's 12 ones, right? Okay, that's more. Than... Twelve ones, that's more than 10. So we're going to trade 10 of the 12 ones, 10 of the 12 ones for a 10, leaving us two ones. Again, we write 12 as one 10 and two ones. Add up the tens. Four and two is six, plus the regroup to 10, seven. Okay. Now, on these, if you need to continue drawing the picture, draw the picture. It's, it's not a problem, okay? All right, page 195. Regroup if need to, and write the sum. Eight and seven. Well, again, I know that seven, let's, I'm sorry. I know that eight is the same thing as saying seven plus one more, right? Well, then that's true. Then seven and seven, that's a doubles fact. That's 14 plus one is 15. 15 ones. Well, that's greater than 10 ones, right? So we're going to trade 10 of the ones for a 10. Four tens plus one 10. 55. Five ones plus two ones is seven ones. Okay, it's not greater than 10, so we don't need to regroup. So there aren't going to be any tens. Four and three tens is seven tens. Three and zero ones is three ones. Three ones is not greater, 10 or greater, so we don't regroup. Seven and two is nine. Seven and three, that's ten ones, right? All right, well, ten ones. We trade ten ones for a ten. So we don't have any ones left if we trade all ten of those ones for a ten. Three plus two tens is five tens, plus the regroup ten, sixty. All right, five ones plus two ones, seven ones. That's not greater than 10, so we don't need to regroup. 5 plus no 10s, 5. 8 plus 6. Well, I know 8 can also be written as 6 plus 2. So 6 and 6 is a double fact. 6 and 6 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. So 14 ones. That's greater than 10, so we're going to regroup 10 of the ones for a 10. And four ones. Five and three tens is eight tens plus the regroup ten, ninety-four. 
5 and 4. Well, 5 is 4 plus 1. 4 and 4 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. So there's nothing to regroup. 9 ones, we don't regroup. 6 tens and 2 tens is 8 tens. 8 and 5. 8 can be written as 5 and 3. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 3 more is 13. 13 ones. So I'm going to have to regroup 13 ones as 1 10 and 3 ones. 3 and 3 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. 7 tens, so 73. 8 and 2. I know that makes a 10. So I'm going to trade all of those 10 ones for a 10. 5 and 3 is 8, plus 1 more 10 is 9 tens. 13. Solve, write, or draw to explain. Jen has 31 books about cats, 19 books about dogs. He gives five books to his sister. How many books, books does Jen have now? How many books does Jen have now? So he has 31 books about cats, 19 books about dogs, and he gives five books to his sister. So what does that look like? Well, he has 31 plus 19 will tell us how many books he has, and then we have to get rid of five, right? Because he gave five to his sister. So let's see how much he does have. Nine ones and one one. That's 10 ones, right? And we know that with 10 ones, we're going to trade that for a 10. Three tens plus one ten is four tens plus the regroup ten, five. So we have 50 and we have to take away five. Well, if need be, we can count backwards. We're at 50, right? So let's take away five from that. 49, 48, 47, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So if we go count back five from 50, we'd wind up at 45. Okay, let's look at page 196. Going deeper. Abby used a different way to add. Find the sum using Abby's way. Okay, so how did she get 13? Well, that means she had to add 8 and 5, right? 8 and 5 is 13. Where did she get the 70 from? Oh, that's from the tens, right? 4 tens plus 3 tens is 7 tens, and 7 tens is 70. So she's basically adding by place value. Okay, so she got 83. So let's go ahead and add the ones, 9 and 7. Well, 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. So she has 16 ones. And how many tens does she have? She has 5 and 2 more tens is 7 tens. So 70. So what's her sum? 86. Describe Abby's way of adding two-digit numbers. Okay, what did we do? Didn't we add the ones first? Okay, we said she add, added the ones. And write that sum. Uh, write the sum below the problem. Then we said that it looks like she added the tens. Okay. And write that sum.
below the sum of the ones. And then finally, add or find the sum of those two numbers. Okay, so again, add the ones. That's what we did, nine and seven, 16. Write the sum below the problem. Then add the tens, five and two, seven tens, which is 70. 50 plus 20 is 70. Okay, and then finally, find the sum of those two numbers. All right, 16. Melissa saw 14 sea lions and 29 seals. How many animals did she see? How many animals did she see? We know she saw 14 sea lions and 29 seals. Write a number sentence to find the total number of animals that she saw. Okay, so we're adding these, right? We want to know how many animals she saw. Well, 14 plus 29 equals what? Well, let's figure that out. Okay, nine plus four is 13 ones. That means we're gonna have to regroup. Okay. Okay, now how many tens do we have? We have two, three, so. She saw 43 animals. How does the number problem show the um, problem? The 14 shows the number of sea lions. And the 29 shows the number of seals. I add it because it's asking for a total. So again, the 14 represents the 14 sea lions. The 29 represents the 29 seals. We're adding because we have to find the total number of animals. Okay, so that's how our number sentence shows the problem. All right, so that's it for lesson 4.6 using two-digit addition. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.